Hey, Brendan Bailey here with the Marine Max Dallas Yacht Center. Wanted to walk you through this 2010 310 Sundancer that we just recently listed. Uh, this particular boat has the upgraded 350 Mag Mercruiser engines with the Axios joystick. We'll get a little more into the joystick when we get to the helm, but let's start back here at the swim platform. The 310 features these two cool boxes back here. You can either use them for your wet gear, like life jackets and stuff like that to go into, or you can fill it with ice and have drinks. That way when you're down in the water, you got an area right there with a cooler with nice cold drinks in it while you're hanging out. Nice area here, as you can see this L-shaped seating that actually converts into a sun lounge back here in the back. It gives you a nice area to lay out across here. As we step into the cockpit, teak table that you can set up here as well. Uh, it also stores underneath this rear bench seat. When you look at the wet bar of the grill station here, you got a nice Kenyan grill with a refrigerator underneath as well and some storage and trash and a nice sink to be able to clean things off with. One of the nice things that Sea Ray really started doing about 2010 was starting to make it to where social zones would merge. As you can see here, the helm seat, which isn't used but maybe 10% of the time you're on the boat, the other 90% of the time, you want it to be incorporated in with the rest of the social area. So it's nice to be able to sit here, have a conversation, watch who's on the boat, and if the table's set up, you've got a nice area there to be able to have food, set a drink or something as well. So really a very good cockpit for entertaining and, uh, and having guests aboard as well. So as we step through here, you'll, we'll get into the helm area here. You'll notice that this has got joystick axis docking. Really nice when you want to twist the boat and spin it around the opposite way. You literally just twist it and turn it. If you want to go sideways, you can push it to the side. This boat does feature the virtual anchor or sky hook as Mercury and Mercruiser calls it. Hit the sky hook button, it links into GPS satellites and keeps you sitting still. Really nice around a gas dock or in a lot of traffic. Maybe you're waiting to pick somebody up on a dock. Hit sky hook, it'll keep you sitting there. It takes all the anxiety away. Just enjoy the boat and get out on the water. This boat does have the C90 Rain Marine with a uh, fish finder. Uh, modules on it as well as the GPS. This is a low hour boat with less than 70 hours on it. Generator has 85 hours on it currently. It's a Kohler generator. Really allows you to run your air conditioning and all your appliances on uh, on the boat when you're out in the middle of the water like we are today. You'll notice that the Sea Ray 310 has incorporated this very nice walkthrough area here up into the bow. Look how big the bow area is. A lot of people will have some custom bow pads made for that. You could literally lay three or four people across that bow area. And you'll see down low when we get inside the boat, but the skylight that's up on that bow area really lights up this cabin and makes it feel like you're not buried into a cave. So let's step down into the cabin. So this does feature, this boat does feature the high gloss cherry cabinets, which is a um, really nice wood package on this boat that people really like. And then that skylight that I was telling you about that really opens everything up is really nice here. When this converts down into a bed, you've actually got a filler cushion and some and a board that goes in here and makes this a big bed area. It's nice to be able to lay here. You can look out, watch the stars, open the vent up as well and, and the hatch. And then you can close it off completely for shade. You can black out the interior of the boat. Nice little settee here to the side. Um, when this is converted into a bed, it's nice to not have to put another table up when you do want to eat. You've actually got that right there. Two people can sit down, play cards, have a drink, of co have a cup of coffee, and just be able to get their day started or wind it down right there. So really nice, well-appointed galley as well. You got a nice sink with a stainless steel undermount sink. And you got Kenyan stovetop, single burner stove. Refrigerator underneath here with the microwave mounted here in the upper cabinets. One of the things you'll notice is there's cabinets all the way around this boat, all the way around the V-berth, around the settee here, shore power panel located over here, and then a very nice and clean head. The entire boat has been kept very, very nicely, uh, very well maintained. Uh, one thing you'll notice when you get inside of is, it, is the boat still feels new inside it's clean doesn't have any odors or smells to it um, this is a very very nice boat if you're looking for an opportunity to get into something that's like new with low hours and been well maintained this is the boat so give us a call my number is 972-670-8211 or call us at the main office at 469-293-9095 we look forward to hearing from you uh, give us a call and let us get you on the water and show you this boat bye, -bye.